Yo, what's happening guys, it's Colossius X. So in this video, what we're going to be looking at is extending the enemy that we've already created. So in the last video, basically we had the enemy moving right and then moving left. And then what we're going to do on this video is we're going to make it so that when the player hits the enemy, we bounce back. Or if the enemy shoots a projectile out, like a little fireball, and we hit the projectile, it's going to knock us back and it's also going to do that damage as well. So there's going to be two different things that we're adding in this video. First thing I'm going to do is, if you haven't already, you want to increase the gravity to 20. Just because at the moment it's a bit like space where you drop down and you go... Mm. So to make it a little bit better, we're going to put that up to 20. Save that. Then go into your object, um, enemy 1. Yep, that's fine. It's object hero that you want to go into first. Add an event. And put collision and make it so that if you collide with object enemy one this is what happens so we go if other dot x is greater than object hero dot x right so what's happening here is if we are if the other object is on this side to our, our character then we'll bounce this way because we want to make it so that if we hit this side, we bounce that way. We hit this side, we bounce that way. Because it would be a bit weird if we hit this side and then bounce that way. So let's copy that. And just basically go from greater to the other way. And then put physics apply impulse. Because remember the impulse is the one that shoots us back. X, Y, minus 200 zero and then copy that paste that in save it now a way that we can actually make it even better is copy this yeah, just to make it easier put and and jumping equals zero and then copy that paste that into here and then put minus 100 so if we we are jumping and we hit them we'll also go in the air a little bit so it just makes it more natural because if you hit it this way you're gonna fly back if you hit it on top you'll go back like that so it'll just look a lot better so copy this one and copy the jump command as well and then put minus 100 great now one thing I want to do is make it so that when the player jumps he goes up a little bit higher let's try that out see what happens now we should go fly like we should jump up see we go flying back it knocks us back and if we hit the enemy just run into him it knocks us back and it just gives you that feedback that you've been hit because sometimes when you run into an enemy and it doesn't bounce you back on anything it just feels a little bit irregular so we go boom knocks us back at the moment we can fight him but yeah what will happen is when we're getting hit our health will also decrement so let's do that next Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to load up object enemy one, create a new variable, and call this one hittable equals one. Create a new alarm in the enemy one called alarm two. And just put hittable equals one, and then okay that. And then put add an event collision with object hero put a code in and put if hittable equals one hittable equals zero uh, alarm two equals 15 and put global dot player health 
minus equals 10. So basically when he gets hit, you're going to lose 10 health. And it's going to not be allowed to hit the enemy again for another 15 seconds. So it gives you that breathing space rather than getting hit and just losing all your health. So let's try it. As you can see, we just lost 10 health. We lost the tomato. And if we hit him again now, we lose another 10 health. Right, that's the basics of getting hit by an enemy. Now what we want to do is make it so that the enemy is a little bit tougher. So he's going to shoot out a projectile randomly every few seconds. And if you get hit by the projectile, you take damage and go flying back. So let's try that. Right, so first of all, we need to create a new sprite. This is going to be our fireball. So make it new sprite. Make it about 30 by 30. Double click. Now, I'm not the best artist, as you know. But I'm going to show you how to make it so that the, we want to make sure the projectile, if you make a fireball, faces the right way. So I'm just going to do a basic you know a little tiny bomb like that and we'll make like a little just so we know it's the right direction and then just fill the rest in with red doesn't matter what it looks like it's just for example there we go that's the fire coming off it apparently Excellent. Right, okay that. Doesn't look too bad from this far. I'll call it sprit underscore fireball. Center it. And then save. Now create a new object and call this object underscore fireball. Now one thing you can do is add an event first. Now we want we're not going to animate the fireball. I was thinking about animating it, but for now we're not going to animate it. Just go to use sprite fireball, modify the collision shape, bring it down. Now it has to be a physics object because basically it's going to hit the player. Right, okay that. Now let's just have a quick look at what it looks like in the game. Yep, that's about perfect size actually. So delete that. Right, okay. So now that we've got the fireball, we need to make it collide with the player. So we're going to copy the exact code from this one. And put add an event collision with fireball. So now when you get hit, you should go flying back. Now I'm gonna make it knock you further back than the um than the enemy. Just because that's it's kinda like a dangerous thing to hit. Okay that. Now a good thing is this is just a little tip for you. If you're ever making like an RPG or something. A good thing to do is you've got a fireball here, click OK. Now duplicate that and call it sprit underscore ice ball. Click edit sprite. Images, colorize, or colorize partial. And just choose like a bluish color. And there's an ice version of your fireball without any extra work really. So if you ever want to make like a fireball, ice ball, you can use the same sprite. Right, that's just a little tip, we're not going to use that for now. So we've got object fireball, now we need to make it so that when this thing comes out, it goes in a direction. So object enemy one in the step event. Right, so first thing we want to do is here, we want to create a new variable, call it shoot equals one and then in the step event in the um, 
part where we're talking about moving left and right. Put if shoot equals one, and then put um, yeah instance underscore create, and then x uh, x minus fifty, no x minus twenty five, and then y, and then object underscore fireball. And then put actually before they put fireball equals and then underneath put with fireball another bracket and with fireball we want to do physics apply impulse x now there's two ways we can do this. We can make it kind of like shoot along and it just starts to go down onto the floor. Um, or we can make it so that it carries on going forward, kind of like Mario, where the missiles just go straight in a line until you go off the map. Uh, so physics apply impulse, X, Y. For now we'll do the one that's drop on the floor and I'll show you how to change it. So X, Y, um, and then X. So you want to put minus x y x minus 100 we don't even need to put x just put minus 200 and then zero and then what we want to do is put image underscore x scale so everything we do now is affecting the fireball object that we create so image x scale equals minus one yep that should be fine so if we oh no actually now if we put put shoot equals zero alarm three equals random range because again we want it to be random when he shoots so say between 50 to 150 just for testing purposes and then copy that and you want to paste that into the opposite way but change them to x plus 25 and plus, well, just 200 and 1. And click OK and save it. Now, in alarm 3, you want to set that to shoot equals 1, which resets basically that we can shoot. All right, let's have a little test. Object enemy wants to. Oh, I see. Right. It's because we've missed off a little bit of code here. Yeah, sorry, what you want to do. I forgot. I missed out this bracket here. Oh, you know, when I copy and paste it from this one to this one, you need to make sure you bracket it so that it's in the if shoot equals one. Let's go in. Right, you see? We're getting shot to hell. So he's throwing, like, fireballs at us. Now, you can, you know, just jump over them, but... They are going really fast. Right. Now, as you can see, they're facing the wrong way. Now, he's actually knocking us into the spike trap. Right, so let's um, make it so that these are facing the right way. So, minus one. One. Right, let's test that. That's better. Yep. Yeah. Oh, we're going to die. They are actually quite deadly. Like, they're going to kill you if you get hit by them. Bang. Zoom. It's like Star Wars. Zoom. Dodged. Dodged. Uh, dodged. Uh. But yeah, you can imagine how that you'd need to slow it down, obviously, but for now. Zoom. It works perfectly. Right. Beautiful. So, that is you know one way of doing it now you can actually make it because physics now this is where the physics come in brilliant if we go into the object fireball and put the collision with the floor we've automatically got like you know it reflecting off the floor so it'll look really good so if we just delete that drag this in 
yeah make sure you click that and just delete that slash slash right let's test it pew 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 oh I'm gone I'm done I'm done right obviously at the moment it's really overpowered but that's where you know you test it out and stuff like that oh it's Oh, he just finished me off again. I'm going to slow it down in a second just to, so we can test it out. Look at that. <laughs> That's pretty awesome, though. But yeah, you get the idea. You can mess about with it and play about with the physics and stuff like that with this. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it for the extended version. So we can get hit by the, the enemy. We can get hit by the projectiles. Now, obviously, we're going to just quickly slow that down. Go into the step event. And put alarm 3 equals 200. And hopefully that should make it a lot less frequent. Now, we're going to get hit straight away here. Oh, I see. Just change that to 200. Play that. Oh, that is deadly with actually when it hits the floor because it just pushes you along. So you'd have to basically deactivate it once it hits you once. So what we'll do is we'll go... Um, that's a good point, actually, yeah. So object fireball... Collision with object hero instance. Ah, this actually reminds me of a good point. So that will destroy itself once it hits the player, but the objects that miss you and go on are still in play. So they are in memory, just taking up memory basically for no reason, and they'll start to lag it. So we've got alarm one equals 50. And then alarm one will basically just destroy the object so that even though it's not there, it's basically out the picture then. And the computer will forget about it and it'll just be gone. Right, so there we go, we get hit, it goes away. Let's move to the right, let's see if we can dodge one. Zoom. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And as you can see, it's actually bouncing off the floor, which is pretty awesome. But yeah, you get the idea, guys. That is pretty much the basics for making a, you know, a starting enemy. So yeah, in the next video, we're going to do finally do pickups. I've already got the video ready. So yeah, I'll speak to you in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.